to see Freakazoids. Where's the love for Arian Foster? Now, I understand your reservations. He's a guy that's completed only two full seasons since 2010, but he's been highly productive in those campaigns. The guy who's finished inside the RB top five in total points in four of his past five efforts. And not only that, but Bill Bryan recently came out and said, quote, rest assured, if Arian is healthy, he will run the ball, end quote. They're going to lean heavily on their workhorse this season are the Texans. You got Ryan Mallett and Brian Hoyer battling out uh, the quarterback gig. And I think Foster's gonna see upwards of maybe 22, 23 touches per game, a similar volume that he had last year. And recall last season, he was second only to DeMarco Murray in points per snap, not only in standard formats, but also in PPR. And overall in fantasy points per game, he ranked number three. We also cannot forget O'Brien called run 51% of the time last season, which definitely bodes well. And the Texans offensive line was the fifth best unit in run blocking, according to Pro Football Focus. Let me ask you a question. Why draft Le'Veon Bell inside the top five when you can wait until round two to get Arian Foster on your roster? I think ultimately, Grabbing an Andrew Luck in the first round and pairing him with the Texans running back would be the money shot for fantasy owners in drafts this year.